Hello and welcome to another edition of Sparky Help. This time we are mastering a Gusset 90 back of bend measurement using cable tray. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. So here we go, we're going to look at cutting a bend in cable tray to measurement. So what well, first thing we need to do, decide on that measurement we're going to do. So this time I'm going to choose a measurement of 300mm. There we go. It doesn't matter whatever yours happens to be, this is an accurate method. And then from that point we're just going to mark that to indicate that that is where our back of bend will be. So I'm not just putting a dotted line just so you could see, obviously, so you can see where it was going to be. And then we're going to measure away from this point. So that's our back of bend and we need to work out where our first bend will be. So we measure the length of the, or the width of the tray in this case, 100mm, so we could have done a 45 down. And then we mark a line backwards from this point. This indicates the first 45 degree bend that we're going to do. Make sure, obviously, when you're doing this, you're going the right direction. So I'm just, I like to put little lines on so I know which way it's going. And we need to work out our dimension. Remember, you can use a bit of paper, but I'll just use uh, trigonometry here. So it's the width of the tray times by the tangent of 22 and a half. 22 and a half, remember, is half of 45. So if we do that quick calculation, you're thinking, why have you got a calculator? Well, you all have calculators. It's called a phone. Turn it sideways. It becomes a scientific calculator. So we do that measurement. So we've basically got a 41 point millimeter either side of that point. So we're just going to mark that. Remember, get your direction correct. Mark it 41 on the other side, 41. And then draw it out. So we've got lines to follow. Like so. And then mark them up on the returns because the flange is going to come out. And I just like to mark what I'm going to remove. Now you don't have to remove all that back to put a line in, but I like to make it look like a mitre joint. So that's what I'm going to do. And now we've got to decide where the next bend will be. So that can be done using a, an angle or a set square, but we'll do it by calculation. And it's 100 times root 2. Why I keep doing root three? Well, it's a habit because that's three phase. Um, so my apologies for that. Every time I seem to do that. So square root of two times by the width of your tray. And that then will give you this measurement here. So root two becomes 1.41, just so you know. And therefore you end up with 141. And we're going to measure away from our first bend by 141, like so. And mark that. And we'll square that one across. And this one now represents our second bend, where it's going to bend from. Obviously, make sure you go the right direction. That's our second bend. And we're going to measure 41, thereabouts, millimetre, either side. And mark those ones out and basically repeat. So there's our two 45 bends marked out ready to be cut. Obviously, I'm going to keep them the same, so I'm going to do the same bit. Probably write in, complain, do whatever you do, point out that you do something different. That's fine, you do what you need to do. Um, but this one will work, and this is what I always like to do personally. There we go, that's then marked out. Now if we cut these, and there we go, with our trusty angle grinder. Hacksaws will do it as well, obviously. Find your fingers. And I found out. And we cut those out. I'm going to cut all those bits out, being careful and not to cut too much out. Obviously it doesn't matter too much on cable tray because it's full of holes anyway. Um, so it's not too bad. And I just cut those bits out and remove those. Let's speed this up just to max. And repeat. So those bits cut out. Remove all our little bits. Now the important thing on all of this is file them up, make sure it is not going to cut your fingers. I still manage to every single time. I still manage to do it. Um, maybe gloves, but I can't get on with gloves personally. So file it up. Obviously it doesn't want to damage your cables that you're going to put on. And then we're going to just line it up. Uh, you could put it on that way. So the mitered bit looks like from underneath. So if that was down below, 
um, it would look like a mitered so drill the holes through so you've got some fixings because it's always sod's law the holes never line up um, even as full despite it's full of them and then you could put it through that way like i say with a mitered looks like from the bottom but on this occasion i'm going to put it the other way around because this is the bit you're going to see so i'm going to put it on top so it looks like it's mitered from the top obviously it isn't and the same true for that one. Obviously, you'll go on the bottom, be consistent. And uh, yeah, did a schoolboy error, started to screw it up. Realised I should have done that. I could have cut it out, but why? I make mistakes. It happens. And then tighten them up. Make sure they're tight. Make sure they're secure. And that's that one done. And then we just obviously just make sure that it is actually to the measurement we tried for it. And we said 300 from back of bend to the end of the tray. That's what we're after. And there you go. This is Sparky Help. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much. Remember, please click like and subscribe. Many thanks.